Well, hello there, and welcome to my basement. That's correct, we do film all of GI's video in my own private basement, but that's not the matter today. Today, I'm going to be showing you the privacy of my own collection. Anyways, welcome. Okay, I mean, we came down here to film something. Are you, you going to show us anything? I mean, not really. What the? the oh, what's wait, the point wait. Of... Actually, I do have something to show you guys. Ah, straight from the vineyards of Austria. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, here is my fully updated Project Outbreak version 2. She is done, she is black and tan, and she is beautiful. You guys know how this works. Private collection, I'm gonna be talking about my newest build, talking about what's on it, what's in it, how it performs, how I like it, some things I don't like about it, the works. But before we get started on that, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that subscribe and that like button because we're trying to beat that YouTube algorithm. We're trying to show Airsoft to you guys and to new viewers, and we need that like and subscribe to beat the algorithm. So hit that button. And if you want to support me or Boaz, not Cisco, shop at Airsoft GI for all your Airsoft needs, and that'll go directly towards us. Anyways, let's talk about this baby here. Uh, we're gonna start with the externals. All right, let's talk about the base of this gun. So this guy is built off of the VFC VR16. I basically got this body from Cisco's own private collection. Now it's in my private collection. Thank you, brother. Um, but yeah, so that's the base. Uh, but as you can see, I swapped out a lot of things. Um, so let's go ahead and start from the rear. So this is the uh, PTS EP S S stock C EPS C stock in tan. Really like it. It's really slim, uh, minimal, uh, very clean look, and uh, yeah, I really like it a lot. Moving forward, I do have the PTS Enhanced uh, Quick QD Mount uh, for the rear plate right here. Uh, it's very useful if I want to uh, move my QD mount to a little bit closer and off the stock. Just nice to have. And some other things up here is the Radian Charging Handle by PTS. I do like PTS as you can see. Uh, Radian Charging Handle by PTS for AEG specifically. Also have a PTS rear sight. PT I gotta put on my uh, front sight. Ignore that. But PTS rear and front sights. I also have the PTS EPG C. And if you guys didn't know, I really love this grip because it is uh, at a, a lesser angle than 45. It's a little bit more vertical, um, which for me, I really like that hand position because I like to uh, kind of play a little bit tighter. So not having to bend my wrist so far forward is a comfortable uh, compromise for me. So, would highly recommend. Uh, moving down, we are running the, the new PTS EPM1s, 250 rounders. Uh, one thing I will say is that this mag in this specific VFC body is a little bit loose. Um, so I did have to add a little uh, Velcro strips on the inside of the mag well just to make it fit a little bit more and have the feeding more consistent. Uh, so something to keep in mind if you are trying to pick up something like this. Um, but yeah, these mags, they're great. They are a Bruh. and a half to load uh, because they're so stiff but I did refer to PTS's guide on how to load these so what you do is you basically load them as much as you can with a speed loader, Odin speed loader, uh, anything like that until you cannot load anymore then you take it out, you bang it on a table on your hand, on your thigh, whatever you want then you finish loading it with a hand speed loader uh, and that way it will go all the way to the top then you leave the BBs in there for maybe like a night or two uh, then you unload, do it again until the spring gets a little bit weaker, and then you should have no problem uh, filling it all the way 250 rounds. I know that was a long spiel, but a lot of people have been asking me on how I think about these mags. That's what I think. All right, moving on. To the front, we have a lot of goodies here. Uh, the rail is from Tribe Defense. This is a real steel rail. Um, I love the look of it, it kind of looks like SLR, but SLR is very expensive, so just as good. Uh, we also have a cloud defense um, pressure switch holder right here, and that is holding a switch to my, this is a Nightfire and 
It's a scout light. Yeah, it's a very bright scout light. I think it's 600 lumens. I really wanted that brightness to uh, shine through when I'm playing outdoors. Sometimes uh, people are hiding in buildings with very dark corners, so sometimes I want to just be able to shine a light all the way into there and be able to see my enemy. Um, so yeah, that's why I went for a really bright light. Um, that's also being held on by, I believe this is an element scout light, uh, 45 degree mount that uh, attaches onto a Picatinny uh, rail mount. So I, I did have to add the PTS uh, polymer Picatinny rail mount to the rail in order to attach that. But uh, it ended up working out, so I like it a lot. I also have the AIM Sports angled foregrip, um, and it is chopped on the bottom just because uh, I like the look of it and uh, it makes it more compact. And uh, I, I do C clamp, so I don't have to, you know, hold it all the way down at the bottom, so just this much is good enough for me. Now moving forward, I do have the uh, SLR, or is it barricade stop, that is mounted onto, again, the PTS polymer um, Picatinny rail mount. And finally, the PTS battle comp on the front. And uh, oh, of course, the run cam uh, with the 3D printed mount from Brain Exploder. And let's see what else, am I missing anything? Oh, MRO uh, sight. And, uh, yeah, oh, 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 these are some Vism rail covers. I like them a lot just because it allows a little bit more of a, a texture grip, kind of like, you know, stippling. Um, so you get a, a more solid grip on your rail. Uh, and finally, this is a multi-cam black uh, sling made from Flatline Fiberco. Uh, great quality, great service, and, um, yeah. Also, this flat trigger right here that I have, does come with the Jeftron Leviathan, so it's pretty nice. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. No drop stock. I'll probably put it back on later. No! In proper fashion, this gun internally was not built by me, it was built by one of our techs, so I have no idea what's in here. I just told them what I wanted and they just threw it all in there. Um, so, I will be reading a list of what parts are in here because I, I can't remember it. So here we go. In here we have the JG Full Metal Rack Piston with the AOE corrected, uh, the Lancer Tactical CNC Piston Head, uh, 3 4 ported cylinder, the Lancer Tactical CNC Double O-Ring Cylinder Head, uh, Lonex Enhanced High Speed Gear, uh, High Speed Gear Set, Short Stroked uh, Five Teeth, the Classic Army 25K High Torque Motor, the Jeftron Leviathan, uh, a modified O-ring air nozzle, the Mad Bull 6.03 inner barrel with R-hop, and BFC's rotary style hop-up unit. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, what inspired me to build this kind of build? Well, honestly, the government. Um, if I didn't get the stimulus, I wouldn't be dropping this kind of money on a brand new build like this. Um, but to put it more simply, I did want to build an outdoor themed build because I usually build either an all black gun or a super loud, you know, you've seen my yellow gun, you know what I mean. Um, and I wanted to try and kind of dip my toes in the milsim side of things um, and kind of see what that's like since I am starting to play more outdoors. Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to blend in a little bit, you know. Um, so yeah, this is what I was going for. I still wanted to keep that futuristic kind of flair to it, which is why I went with this style of rail and all the PTS, very slim, um, uh, what is it? Slim, sleek style of uh, furniture. Um, but yeah, overall I think I did pretty well. So this was built off of my old Project Outbreak, which we already did a private collection on. You can click the link up above, wherever it is, to check that out. Um, so yeah, all of the upgrades were mainly external. Um, so yeah, this is basically a new gun. All right, new, new year, new gun. There you go. So after playing with this gun for a few games now, I have noticed that my play style is a little bit slower. I still play very aggressively. I still like to push as much as I can, push buildings, CQB is like my thing. Um, but since I am playing outdoors, this guy is able to reach those further distances. So I do find myself actually sitting back a little bit more and kind of picking people off as they're moving to cover. Um, and since it is heavier, I can't push as aggressively as I want to just because this thing is uh, it's a bit of a chonker. 
Um, but yeah, overall, I love it. I love the look of it. Um, and it definitely still fits my playstyle, but has a Milsim look. I know, Milsim. Now that you've seen my private collection, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I built a Milsim gun, so this is content for you guys. Please, hit the like button. I, I beg of you. We upload every Wednesday and Friday, so be sure to be on the lookout for our news videos. And this has been Kevin from Airsoft GI. I'll see you on the outdoor field. Mail game patches still available on Airsoft GI. Pick them up while you can. <laughs>